In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fine tune Flux One, which is a state of the art image generation model, which allows you to create these hyper realistic images, as well as things like anime characters or cartoon characters. There's just a ton of really cool examples of things you can do with this model. So you might be wondering, why do I even need to fine tune a model that's as competent as the one that I'm showing you on screen here? You can see that there's a variety of different examples, a number of different things that you can generate with it. And there are a few different benefits. So let's say you have a character that you want to continually generate photos of consistently, even if that photo isn't necessarily within the training data. For example, this could be a famous person, this could be a picture of yourself, or this could even be something like a cartoon character potentially. To get started, you can head to foul.ai slash models, and you'll be able to get some free credits if you haven't used foul AI before to do all of what I'm about to show you. Right now they have it featured right at the top here. If it's not within the top and it's later from when this video was published, you'll be able to likely find it within the models down below. You can just click this train a flux Laura button here. And then from there, all that you need to do is upload a number of different images. What I did is I asked an image generation model to generate a character of a blue dog for me in a number of different frames. Here we see that we have a number of different frames then all of these images we can use to fine tune the model. Now there are some additional settings. So you can increase the steps. The more steps that you have, the more accurate that this is going to be. You can also include a trigger word if you'd like. And in the case of the example that I'm gonna be showing you, I did not use a trigger word and I used 1000 steps, which is the default setup on the foul platform here. I did not touch any of the additional settings here. In terms of the cost, you're going to be built based on the number of steps here. For $1, you can get 200 steps. In the example that I'm about to show you, it was 1,000 steps. Depending on the number of steps that you choose, that's going to determine how long it takes. In the example I'm about to show you, I think it took about 20 minutes to generate. Once you fine tune the model, you can also download the configuration file as well as the diffusers LoRa file, where if you want to use this somewhere else, or if you want to stow this away somewhere safe, just so you have it, you have that option. Once you're done that, you can run inference. If I just say the blue dog walking through New York City, and I go ahead and click run, for the cost of inference, it's gonna be seven and a half cents per megapixel, which translates to $1, you can run this model approximately 13 times. As we can see there, we see the dog within New York City. If I just put side by side the photo that was just generated with the ones that it was trained on, we can see that we have a really impressive result. So in the context that I'm showing you, you can make potentially a children's book, or you could take these images and then put them into a video generation model. The sky is really the limit with this type of stuff. You could also train this on photos of yourself if you'd like, or of a celebrity. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. I encourage you to check out Fal AI. You can get some free credits to sign up, as well as check out the new Flux One model from Black Forest Labs. That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.